or 27 June. In the enchanting town of Tuscumbia, Alabama, a remarkable soul named Helen Keller came into the world on a bright June 27, 1880. Her father, Arthur Keller, was a captain in the Confederate Army during the American Civil War. And her mother, Kate Adams Keller, was a homemaker and a social activist. Helen's next few months went like a normal child. But at the tender age of 19 months early, struck as she lost both her sight and hearing due to an illness most likely identified as either scarlet fever or meningitis. The inability to communicate and understand the world around her left the little kid feeling trapped and isolated. Unable to express her needs and desires, she often resorted to tantrums and outbursts. Concerned for child's well-being, her parents got advice from Alexander Grumman and her six-year-old Helen to Perkins Institution for the Blind, where they met an experienced teacher, Anne Sullivan, who herself was practically visually impaired. Understanding Helen's situation, and began to teach Helen creative activities with love and patience, which helped her calm down her anger issues and slowly transform her into a well-behaved child. Then to teach Helen reading and writing, her teacher wrote characters on Helen's palm, helping her to learn a lot about the world around her and with more effort even things beyond this world. As Helen grew older, she became more loving and her thirst for knowledge kept growing. So, she attended the working school for the blind, excelling in her studies. At 16 years old, Helen was accepted into Radcliffe College, becoming the first deaf-blind person to pursue higher education. Then, at the age of 22, her autobiography, The Story of My Life, came out, which revealed her early childhood experiences, challenges with her impairments, and her extraordinary journey of over them with the guidance of her teacher, Anne Sullivan. Then, in 1904, at the age of 24, she graduated with honors, earning a Bachelor of Arts degree and leaving an indelible mark on her career. After this, Helen Keller became a strong advocate for people with disabilities and women's rights. She traveled around the world giving inspiring speeches and fighting for equal opportunities for everyone to show us that no matter our challenges, we can make a difference and create a more inclusive world. Meanwhile, Helen also kept working hard and became a prolific writer, sharing her experiences, thoughts and insights with the world. Some of her notable works include The World I Live In, where she explores the sensory world through her touch and imagination, and Out of the Dark, a collection of essays on various topics. In her later years, Helen continues her advocacy work, focusing on improving the lives of people with disabilities worldwide. She co-founded Helen Keller International, an NGO dedicated to preventing blindness and malnutrition, and worked tirelessly to raise awareness and support for various causes. Then, on June 1, 1968, at the age of 87, Helen Keller passed away peacefully in her sleep.